In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dearly beloved in Christ Jesus, today we have been privileged to begin a new season of the liturgical year, the Lenten season a season of grace and the, the season of favor of God. It's a season when we are called upon to wake from our deadly ways. It's a season when we are called upon to remove all the works of darkness and to implant the works of light. And therefore it's a day, it's a season not to mourn, but rather a season to rejoice. Because it's a time when we will be coming closer to God and God will be happy because we all seek Him. And therefore it's a, it's a season of good times. It's not a season of bad times. Sometimes we think Lenten time is a season, is a bad time. We should never take up any good works or begin any good works. But rather it's a good season, a, a season when God Himself is happy that we all seek Him. And we should also be happy because we are doing something very special to ourselves and to our family and to our life. And therefore, this is a season when we can really begin anything the beautiful that we want to start with. And so therefore, I would like to start today itself to wish you all a very happy Lenten season. Very happy Lenten season because we are all coming closer to God. And with the sentiments, let's begin this Holy Eucharist. And let's also spend this year, these this, uh, days, as a moment of gratitude to God. God, you have given us another season to come closer to you, which you have not given to many people. So let's, let's also imbibe or fill our hearts with that gratitude. God has given this days, years, in the uh, season of grace. Now to prepare ourselves to celebrate this great mystery of love, let us recall to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God, God and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting, this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up battle against spiritual evils, we may be armed with the weapons of self-restraint. This we ask of you, O Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Joel. Now, now, it is the Lord who speaks. Come back to me with all your heart, fasting, weeping, mourning. Let your hearts be broken, not your garments torn. Turn to the Lord your God again, for he is all tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in graciousness, and ready to relent. Who knows if he will not turn again, will not relent, will not live a blessing as he passes, oblation and libation for the Lord your God. Sound the trumpet in Zion, order a fast, proclaim a solemn assembly, call the people together, summon the community, Assemble the elders, gather the children, 
even the infants at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his bedroom and the bride her alcove. Between vestibule and altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, laymen, let them say, Spare your people, Lord. Do not make your heritage a thing of shame, a byword for the nations. Why should it, to, it be said among the nations, Where is their God? Then the Lord, jealous on behalf of his land, took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With the spirit of favor sustain me. O Lord, upon my lips and mouth shall declare your praise. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We are ambassadors for Christ. It is as though God were appealing through us. And the appeal that we make in Christ's name is, we reconcile to God. For our sake, God made the sinless one into sin, so that in him we might become the goodness of God. As his fellow workers, we beg you once again not to neglect the grace of God that you have received. For he says, at the favorable time, I have listened to you. On the day of salvation, I came to your help. Well, now is the favorable time. This is the day of salvation. Thanks word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. A pure heart create for me, O God, and give me again the joy of your help. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 6, verses 1 to 6, again 16 to 18. Jesus said to his disciples, Be careful not to parade your good deeds before people to attract their notice. By doing this, you will lose all reward from the, your Father in heaven. So when you give alms, do not have it trumpeted before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win people's admiration. I tell you solemnly that they have had their reward. But when you give alms, your left hand must not know what your right is doing. Your alms giving must be secret, and your father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. They love to say their prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners 
for people for people to see them i tell you solemnly they have had their reward but when you pray go to your private room and when you have shut your door pray to your father who is in that secret place and your father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you when you fast do not put on a gloomy look as the hypocrites do they pull long faces to let people know that they are fasting i tell you solemnly they have had their reward but when you fast put oil on your head and wash your face so that no one will know you are fasting except your father who sees all that is done in secret and your father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ kindly arise dear brothers and sisters let us humbly ask god our father that he be pleased to bless with the abundance of his grace these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence oh god who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance lend your merciful ear to our prayers and in your kindness pour out the grace of your blessings on your servants who are marked with these ashes that they all they follow the lenten observances they may be worthy to come with the minds made pure to celebrate the paschal mystery of your son who lives and reigns forever and ever amen, amen. now in common we say this you know repent and believe in the gospel and with that we will uh, a priest will be coming around to sprinkle the ash on your head it will not be speared on your forehead but it will be sprinkled on the head God of mercy and compassion look with pity upon me father let me call the father this Now, dear. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands may become a bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to please with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash me iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Praise sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty. Father, may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice of the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through the works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and cleansed from our sins may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children their sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from distorted, 
disordered affections they may go they may so deal with the things of this passing world so to hold rather to the things that eternally endure and so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim holy holy holy, holy lord, lord god, god our of hosts host, heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly in this passion jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, and for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, we proclaim your, your death, Lord. Lord. And pass your resurrection until you, come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the bishops, the clergy, the religious, and the faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her chaste spouse, and with blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, the, power, the, glory, the glory are yours, are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And all, let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace to you. Peace to you. Peace to you. Lamb, of, Lamb God, of God, you take, take the away the sins, sins of the world. Of Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes the sin of the world. This is he who accompanies us in our journey of penance. 
Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to the One who ponders the law of the Lord day and night will yield fruit in due season. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy and a way to re restart our life of happiness and joy in you. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Pour out your spirit of compunction, O Lord, on those who bow before your majesty. And by your mercy, may they merit the rewards of your promise to those who do penance. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless us all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.